job site right now, man. Just finished trimming all these shrubs. Got you gotta ever get the uh, shit all up in your shoes. You gotta take your shoes off and get all that shit out. Son. Yeah, what up, what up? What's up, man? You guys out there busting ass? Is it hot out there? This shit is so dope. This periscope shit. It's it's alive right now. What up? Trimming all these trees and shrubs on a whole property here. First, we did a window cleaning job for the client, and I, I noticed all his stuff was overgrown. I was like, we can take care of that. Forces running around the block, passing out flyers all over the place. Today's a good day. You guys want to see it? Say what's up to Forrest. Check this out. Hey, Forrest. We'll say what's up to Forrest. He cut all his hair and his beard off, dude. This guy's a monster. Say what's up. We're live on Periscope right now. With who? With who? Lots of awesome peeps. Like who? That's dude, I don't know. Did you t tell Forrest I said hi? Say what's up. Hey, how's it going? There you go. Oh, um, you don't like being live, man? Pleasure to meet you, Anonymous. Yeah. Did you see the uh, the latest episode? Forrest has a challenge for you. I dare you. Are you going to hold up to that, that challenge? Sure. Did anybody even respond? Did anybody oh, a lot of people that? responded, man. They're oh. up for the challenge. Oh, man. What's I up, man? All yeah. These now. What have I done? Yeah. Just dig myself into bullshit all the time. Yeah. I love it. It's great. No, let's do it. Huh? Did I, did I put any money on the table for that? Yeah, for that challenge? Yeah, because I'll put money on the table for He doesn't it. look like a monster now. Look at that. Man, I this can... thing has shitty ass lighting. There you go. He responded. 100 bucks. Deal. I'll fucking beat you. It's so easy. Okay. There's no way that I could possibly lose. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're on. I'm literally time and place. Like a reasonable. We gotta get the freak on here. Yeah, dude, he's so damn busy. He's got so much shit on his plate. It's uh crazy. Yeah, dude, this is taking over. This is awesome. Is hey. what you're doing making us money? Yes, it is. I want to talk about real quick about uh, jobs and dips in your business. I'll make it quick. Sometimes you'll be swamped as hell. And you think that everything's going great, it's never gonna end, you're just paid up the ass. Yes, I did ask, Geek. Damn. Um, yeah, we do gotta get Geek to freak on here. I'm gonna send him a text message right now and say, get your ass on Periscope right now. Fuck the YouTube shit for a minute. Get on Periscope. The peeps, I wanna say what's up. What's up, what's up? People are asking me how much I pay Forrest. Let's say Forrest gets paid uh, more than your average landscaping employee and he's gotten more raises faster than anybody that's ever worked for me because the dude's initiative. He's fucking ambitious and he's always willing to learn shit. This is crazy. If you would have showed this to like somebody, this technology, even 20 years ago, they would like, I don't know, man. This shit would be worth a billion dollars. Well, dude. Yeah, I'm going to Louisville, Kentucky, leaving the 20th. I'm staying the night the 21st for the GIE Expo, waking up all day 22nd. I'll be with the wife of Tron and uh, Louisville, Kentucky at the GIE Expo. Hired a cameraman, too, to follow us around to get it all the footage. You guys can all be on there and put it all on the YouTube channel. Shake hands, say what's up. It's going to be awesome. And we're all going to maybe get a bite to eat afterwards. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're over there working. I'm walking around talking on Periscope. How about that? It's 3.15 in Canada. I don't even know what time it is here right now. When you own your own business, you, you don't even remember what time it is. It's time to fucking work. Yeah. You be there with the cameras, dude. You got that 70D, don't you? I don't like here walking around with the big DSLR camera. That's why I like those vlogging cameras. The Sony RX100 is the shit, dude. Dude, I can't even keep up with all the comments right now. Yeah, you can't go. Here's the thing about the GIE Expo. If you keep like putting it off and saying, I don't want to go, I want to I wanna go, but uh, just fucking do it. Get in the car and drive and go, and you won't regret it. There's a, a guru I look up to named Jeff Walker. He says like nothing is more powerful than going and meeting people in your industry and shaking their hands. There's something about it. I don't know. The tickets are like, uh, how much is it? I can't. I'm 13. Yes, you can. Come with someone else, dude. 
I'm proud of you young guys, you 12, 13, 15 years old, starting your own businesses, running around collecting cash, man. Yeah, bitches, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I think my ticket was like 17 or 20 bucks. Hotels are 140, gas, I don't know where you live, 50 bucks. I mean, I thought I was, I brought a thousand bucks with me. And I said, my budget is 500. I walked out the whole trip for two nights. I think I spent under $400. So, it is cheap. Oh, casino, yeah. I don't go to the casino at all. I went with my buddy one time, and I watched him blow his whole paycheck on blackjack in 10 minutes. I was like, fuck that. I'm going to go work. Nothing has ever proven more uh, valuable than going out and fucking working your ass off and making money and then reinvesting that money because you can always count and depend on yourself. That's why I always talk about starting a business because if you go work for someone else and, and help make their company successful, what happens in a few years if something happens? or whatever it is. Now you're fucking kicking rocks and you got nothing and that company keeps all the success. Uh, do you pay salary by the hour? Uh, man, we're, it's by the hour, okay? It's definitely by the hour. I don't wanna do salary right now. I like it predictable in the way that I look at my numbers my own way. In the future, if I start doing piecework and percentages, maybe I'll go into salary, but I'm not at that point yet where I have like a bunch of commercial condo complexes where we're doing 360 maintenance deals and stuff like that. So here's a video on, you. oh, I lost it, sorry. Lansing, Michigan, yeah, hell yeah, I've been in Lansing. I've been all over Michigan. We're on the east side of Michigan, all the way by the water. What about them shirts though? Which ones, shirts that I'm making or shirts, those do you even mow bro shirts? You know what I'm talking about? I keep getting the, do you even mow? Did you see those? That's on me. Okay, so I'm thinking about making shirts. I gotta call t-shirt companies and make a bunch of black t-shirts, hand them out, throw them like Frisbees. Eight bucks an hour, there you go. Yeah, you could pay someone eight bucks an hour. Man, look at all this walking around on a Periscope. I need to be passing out flyers. Look at all these nice ass houses all over here. Oh, shit, I thought I lost you. Where did I get them? My shirts? These? If you're asking about these, these are from EA Graphics. My, sis my sister-in-law is a graphic design manager. Yeah. There you go. EA Graphics in Michigan. EAGraphics.com. These jerseys are like 14 bucks a piece. And you see the back of them look like sports jerseys. Yes, YouTube videos. I've been sitting on the fence lately about, lately about the YouTube videos because I love joking around and being funny and goofing around and shit. And at the same time, I'm supposed to be running a professional business. I can't help it, dude. It's fun. How do you get your wife to accept buying cameras and spending on a cameraman without losing it? Um, well, if you want to know the truth, I searched Louisville, Kentucky on Craigslist. I found amateur cameramen and I called them up. I said, hey, I got a YouTube channel that's getting 300,000 views a month. I will put you on the channel and links to your website and descriptions and everything and buy you dinner if you come fill the event. They're like, fuck yeah. So I don't have to spend any money. When am I getting a new truck? I could go get one now. I spent last month five different times at the dealerships test driving brand new Chevys and Fords and shit. And I was like, I just don't want to do it. I don't know. I don't want a new truck because I don't want the panic and heart attack of them scratching the fuck out of my brand new truck, man. So, I don't know, I just, I like, take so much pride in driving shit until it just breaks. But, sucks having a payment. Yes, it does. F-650, damn. So, I'm driving all over Southeast Mich Eastern Michigan doing, doing quotes. That's why I don't want a big F-350 dually or something like that that's going to just devour me in gas. My buddy Eric Reno had the uh, 2500 HD. He was spending like 1500 a month in gas. He went down to a, a V8 Echo Boost, and now his gas bill's like 600 a month, so... Yeah, yeah. I hope you guys are out there killing it, uh, making a lot of money. And if you're slow, you're not getting the jobs that you want. You and BB Lawn Care and Geek to Free Hunters Lawn Care. Fuck yeah, dude. God bless you. God bless you. I'm just playing. Um, do I work in Brighton? No. Brighton is way too far for me. It's like an hour away. And I have done jobs out there. And by the time you get to the fucking job, you get out of the truck, you're so tired. You're like, oh my God. I just feel like I went on a damn road trip. It's too much, uh, yeah, take a break, right? I was in anxiety, dude, I'm not gonna lie, the last uh, week, because we're slow right now. We always get slow in mid-September. The phone's not ringing and shit. I'm only booked like a week out. 
I'm like, stay calm, stay calm. Start putting out emails to clients, posting a bunch of Craigslist po posts, calling up and texting customers we've already done work for. And you can let that anxiety get a hold of you to where you feel like, fuck, fuck, I got bills coming in, but the money ain't coming in. Because if you're used to being booked multiple weeks out and you got a bunch of bills on it, uh, like I said, my overhead is, it's my overhead. It fluctuates between 9,500 and 11,000 a month for all my business and personal overhead combined. So if you go, you get slow in business, you're like, shit, how am I gonna come up with $11,000? But if you just take a breath and keep knocking on doors, passing out flyers, like I just had Forrest passing out flyers all over the place, the phone starts ringing, boom, you sell a property, trimming up all the property, all the trees pulling, all the weeds laying mulch, 900 bucks, 1,000 bucks, whatever it is, you just made four or 500 bucks in a day. Boom, you do another job, make 200 bucks a day. Boom, you do another job, you fucking make only 80 bucks in a day. You're like, what did I do, all right? Then you go home all depressed, start kicking your cat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> BR600, that is a, fuck, I forgot what that is. Is that like a blower? You should get an F-250 dump truck so you don't have to use your truck bed anywhere. Yes, I know I should get an F-250 dump truck, but if I can... I don't want an F-250 dump truck, man. Yeah, I do. I'm just fucking lying. I just don't want to fucking spend $18,000 on it. You can get a used one off Craigslist for like 12 bucks. I know, dude. Shut up. <laughs> you motherfuckers. This is, hey, this YouTube shit, is, it gets scary sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I have panic attacks sometimes. I'll wake up in the middle of the night sweating next to the wife, trying to like, fuck, I'm putting my whole life on fucking YouTube, man. She's like, go to bed, it's fine, they love it, it's, it's, you're funny, you're good. I'm like, no, man, this is fucking, I'm putting my life on the fucking internet here. This is crazy. Yes, dude, but the whole point is to be authentic and be like, yeah, I know, you're always saying fuck YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Periscope is the shit. I was doing this meerkat, and now I do this, uh, where do you buy your equipment? I used to buy all my equipment used off Craigslist, pawn shops, garage sales, any place I could, and then once the shit keeps breaking down on you, you're paying for tune-ups, fuck that. Go to the equipment dealer as soon as you can afford it, and buy brand new shit. Brand new still. Look at Forrest pulling up here. Later, have a good day. You're off work. What? I ain't another coolest boss ever. Hey, say peace out to everybody. Your, uh, your customer just wants to talk to you. Oh, all right, dude. Listen, Forrest came up and he notified me that the court, the customer wants to know where the hell I'm at. Keith has taken off, walked around the block while talking to his phone like a fucking nutcase. I got, I'm gonna go back and make appease this customer. Bye.